A day with Caleb Josh, the movie collector. We are in Atlanta, if you could not tell. That is State Farm Arena, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. We are in Atlanta for the annual Momocon, Momocon 2023. And we are here specifically to meet Don Bluth. The last video we showed what we're going to sign. In between there, I did show the Jurassic Park Tribute Store. Before that, we were at Spooky Empire. So it's been a busy couple of days here oh, yeah. on the channel. But uh, stay tuned. We're going inside, getting our tickets, and meeting Don Bluth. We are taking the bridge over. Hopefully, that bridge, not not the correct way. We are going the correct way now. After miles of walking, we are here at the Georgia World Congress Center. All right, next we go to registration hall to get our badges. All right, got our tickets about to pick up the badges. Okay, we got the badges. I got. I went with the bleach lanyard. What did you get? Uh, just like a generic one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we are going straight to uh, Don Blue Slum. All right. Got the program, and we're heading in. I don't know if you can hear me. I can't even hear myself. This is the gaming tournaments right here. They are ready to battle. I think autographs is straight ahead, all the way down here. We'll get there eventually. This is the main stage, probably where Don Bluth will have his Q and A. Don Bluth will be here at 2:30. And vendors, some uh, food vendors as well. I think Don Bluth is at the back over here. I think this is where the autographs are. We have some souped up cars. Look at the detail on these. We are working our way to autographs. The Walk of Fame is at the end of this aisle here. These are awesome cars, especially this one. That is awesome. Look at that one. That is great. Okay, looks like Don Bluth is at the end there. But we have a lot of celebrities right now. Okay, we thought that big line was for Don Bluth. That's for Johnny Bosch. Luckily, I've met him before. But this little one is for Don Bluth. I don't know how we integrate over there, but eventually, I think we do. Don Bluth, Johnny Bosch. Oh, there's, uh, there's Daphne. Some of these are anime, so I'm not going to know who it is, but uh, pretty cool. Nobody's here yet as far as celebrities, but uh, we'll just get an overview of uh, all the celebrities here. Let's see, Max. I think Kate Chase I've seen at other events like Megacon and stuff. He did all those voice actors. That was incredible. And that's it. That's all the celebrities. We have our voice actor from Encanto as well.
fire. Do not wander off for a few hours and then try to come back at six. I'm not gonna chicken peck you guys back in line. So, you can feel free to go to his panel, see everything he's gotta do, and then you can come back and get back in this line, but you've gotta be here when he's here. So don't try to give me that ticket at six o'clock. It's not gonna work anymore. Are we clear on that as well? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Yes. If you have any further questions, please do not stop here to ask me, or to ask Joe, or to ask Kai. If you still have questions, go hang out in the cars for a few minutes. When we get this whole crowd cleared, I will be back there answering questions. So please don't clog up this process. It's gonna take long enough as it is. Do we all feel good about this? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Who's ready to meet Don Moore? Alright, in count of three, I want to hear what is your favorite Don Moore film all at once. It's going to be chaos, but when Don wants to do it. Okay, in count of three. One, two, three. Rapidino! Okay, I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Alright, well, Ladies and gentlemen, Don Bluth. It means it's going in the movie. 
My drawing is going into the movie. Yes, he said. And the feeling you got from just being part of something bigger than self, something that was thrilling, gave me goosebumps. And I used to sing all the way home and sing all the way to work with the windows rolling. Well, uh, some, of, uh, some of his history that is not really well known is that when he came back from Argentina on his mission, he worked for Filmation on a few shows for Filmation. Can you tell us about the shows you worked on and what it was like to work on TV animation? Well, the experience when I worked at Filmation was uh, really interesting because I knew I could draw. I've been drawing my whole life long. I knew it was easy for me. So basically, I was saying how much money I could earn, and um, that's when I actually stumbled on a little book that said that if you believe something, you can make it happen. So my challenge was, if I were looking in the mirror and say to myself, "I am the richest man in the world," it would come to pass. I said, "I don't believe that." But I tried it, and so I went to work in filmation. My boss, Don Christians, would stand behind me and watch me draw. And I would, he didn't know this, but I was saying to him here, I am the richest man in the world. So he came in one day and gave me a raise, about $50 a week raise. And then I said, it's a coincidence, so I tried again. And then what happened is after a while, you know, I, it just got more and more and more. I kept trying it and trying it. And one day he walked in my room and said, I don't know what you're doing, but I can't give you any more races. You're making as much as I make. <laughs> so I was making, this is going to sound silly, I was making $500 a week clear back in those days, back in the 70s. So anyway, it's just a little thought. If any of you'd like to try that, you can have anything. You don't want to say I'm the best artist in the world. I'm going to stand in the mirror, by the way, and don't laugh. And uh, I'm the richest person in the world. I'm the most beautiful person in the world. I'm the handsome guy in the world. Say all those things, it'll come to pass. You got SpaceX fans too? Well, tell us, tell us about creating Dragon Slayer. Like, these are the characters we put together. How long did that actually take to make that game? Dragon Slayer was a movie. Movie, a game <laughs> that we made after we finished making Secret of Mirror. Secret of Mirror did not make any money. We pretty loved it, but it made no money, and we had all this Disney studio to make Secret of Mirror, and there was uh, with no money to pay people. So uh, Rick Dyer came to us and said, I want you to make a game that looks like Mirror. We said, okay, we can do that. And we didn't give any importance at all. We kept saying, well, this is just something to keep the money to you in, but who the heck cares about a game? <laughs> and so I told Gary Goldman one time, I said, Gary, you know what? I think everyone will see our movies but they'll remember Dragons of the Game. And I don't know why that is, because we weren't paying as much attention to the animation when we weren't trying to do something that would, you know, knock people's socks off. But the game was fun. And it was competing with Pac-Man and Donkey Kong, and there's no, there's, no, there's no visuals there. So I think when it went out there, I think it kind of took people by surprise, and they said, oh, we can make games that look good. And so I think that's what Dragon's Air did. It, made, it stimulated the game people to start making better visuals. Uh, and it's a fun game, and for some weird reason, Dragon Slayer, which is a simple game, a linear game, is still selling. How many years ago? Who knows? It was 1983? Right? Yeah, 1983. And now Netflix has it. They're making a movie with Ryan Reynolds. Isn't that pretty awesome? Yeah. Can, can anybody turn the lights on so we can see them? Now, we can't barely see you guys. Is there a person that now wants to see you better? Possible. Is there a light person? You can see you. I stand up. There he is. All right. You know, he brought this idea to you about making those two films you made with him. Well, Stephen is very famous. So when I first met Stephen, I thought, ooh, I was very intimidated. I started shaking all over and everything. He says, I want to make a, um, a movie that's a cartoon movie. He says, because I love cartoons. 
I said, okay, we well, you know how to do that. So um, he said, let's find a story. And it took him two years to find a story. While we were still out of work making uh, the game. And when he finally found a story, um, it was something called Mousy Mouse for Wits. And he said, we'll rename it. And he said, well, name it my grandfather's name, which was Fievel. And then, uh, as we started making this game, he says, you go ahead and board the game, storyboard it. And then show me your storyboards. If I agree, then make the game. But I'm going to give you money, and I'm going to give you time. Make me a game I can be proud of, I can put my name on. And that was basically it. Okay, so what do you... That won't happen nowadays, by the way. We just went to the Don Bluth panel, but now we just met Odessa from Encanto. And I'm gonna show like 70, he took like 70 pictures, like a whole film roll. He held it down. But uh, it's hard to tell from here, but we thought that was her line there, but she's in the middle, nobody was there. So now we are going back to see Don Blue, hopefully, maybe. We got a ticket, we're at least in the line uh, in a little bit. Okay, we're starting back up for Don Bluth again. Five minutes. Come back. It's done. We finally met Don freaking Bluth. Wow. Well, Mike Wazowski, Josh a second, and put the photo up. And now show off my beautiful signature. So I, I got rock a doodle do. Why do I say do all the time? It's I don't rock know. It's rock a doodle. <laughs> I got dragon slayer. That's awesome. And Secret and M. Josh's favorite. His personal favorite yeah. as well. I I side with rock a rock a doodle. It's close. I would still say Secret Name. Secret Name is good. Now we are on our way to meet Daphne, correct? When she comes Great. back, we're waiting. She's but, at uh, photo ops. Lifelong uh, dream fulfilled. Child, Woo, childhood did it. checked off. Now if we can just meet Timber and I'll be sad. Now, does anybody remember, I know Josh does, comment down below. If you drove through McDonald's, it was McDonald's, right? They had the VHS, oh, yes. Yes. right? Land before time. We, we did the drive through got a Happy Meal, and they gave us a VHS copy they of Land Before Time. They would hand out VHS. They did others, but the one that's ingrained in my mind is Land Before Time. Oh, yeah. But uh, let's hopefully meet Gray soon. Uh, Daphne was done for the day. Josh yep. has cried me in tears. <laughs> I did. But that was our fault. Yeah, we looked at the schedule, but I forgot which was which. Hopefully, that's uh, Mercedes Benz right there. Taylor Swift uh, concert tonight. We're at a Taylor Swift <laughs> So I feel like we're in there. Because it's loud. That's why we couldn't find parking. Yeah. There. So Taylor Swift, we're in the same venue. We passed right by Taylor Swift concert. So like, subscribe, share with the movie Don Bluth animator lover. Childhood's made. Uh, worth the trip. A long oh, trip. Yeah. Uh, but until next time, keep collecting Taylor Swift. Yeah.